Now we are going to discuss about the causality analysis using as a transform. For an LTA system, we have two conditions uh, to become a causal system. An LTA system is uh, said to be causal if the ROC lies exterior of a circle passing through the outermost pole. Suppose we have uh, multiple poles. Uh, then the ROC should be exterior of the outermost pole. Then only the system will be causal. Okay. Then second condition is uh, the degree of the numerator polynomial. That should be lesser than that of the denominator polynomial. In the sense, suppose we have a, a different situation then we have to find uh, the ratio between this uh, transform of output y of z to this uh, transform of input x of z then we will get y of z by x of z that is equal to h of z h of z is the system function or the transfer function of, a, of an LTA system then the condition for that LTA system to be causal is the degree of the numerator polynomial the degree in the sense uh, the highest power of the highest positive power of the polynomial that is known as the degree okay then the degree of the numerator polynomial that should be lesser than that of the degree of the denominator polynomial then only the system should be cause otherwise uh, the system should be system will be a non -ca non causal for a non causal system the degree of the numerator polynomial will be greater than that of the denominator polynomial let us uh, discuss uh, with an example in order to understand these two concepts more clearly otherwise uh, we may not be able to understand this concept okay by doing an example we can understand this concept uh, more clearly so let us uh, go through the example okay right okay let us uh, dis let us find uh, whether the given system is uh, stable or not we have given a system with the transfer function h of z is equal to 1 plus 4 z inverse plus z raised to minus 2 all divided by 2 z raised to minus 1 plus 5 z raised to minus 2 plus z raised to minus 3 this is the uh, this is an lt system um, with the system function or transfer function h of z we have to determine whether this is a, a causal system or not so um, first of all we had to express uh, the power of z times uh, as a positive power here we have uh, all the exponents or all the uh, power of uh, z times are uh, expressed in negative sign okay here we have z raised to minus one z raised to minus 2 minus 3 is there uh, we have to we have to change the power of all z times into positive okay uh, so i'm going to rewrite this uh, h of z once again and i will be back to you after that okay okay given that h of z is equal to 1 plus uh, so and so uh, so now i am going to change the power of all z times and uh, i'm going to express the numerator polynomial as well as the denominator polynomial with the positive power of z in order in order for that uh, we have to multiply with uh, some z times common to both numerator and the denominator here the highest negative degree of uh, numerator is uh, minus 2 and uh, the highest degree or order of the denominator polynomial is minus 3. We have to express the degree of both the numerator polynomial and the denominator polynomial into a positive degree. So here the highest negative 
degree is minus 2 and here the highest uh, minus uh, here the highest degree of the denominator polynomial is minus 3 so which one is greater set raised to minus 2 and set raised to minus 3 is their highest negative degrees set raised to minus 3 okay i mean minus 3 so we have to multiply both the numerator and the denominator with corresponding positive degree here between set raised to minus 2 and set raised to minus 3 the highest negative power is set raised to minus 3 so i'm going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator using corresponding positive degree set raised to 3 okay just a set raised to 3 just uh, multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by is addressed to minus uh, sorry is addressed to plus 3 how do you get how did you get uh, set raised to 3 that is nothing but the highest uh, degree of a numerator polynomial is minus 2 and that of denominator polynomial is minus 3 between this uh, numerator and denominator polynomials uh, the highest negative is minus 3 so take the corresponding positive power that is plus 3 then multiply so raise to plus 3 with mm, common to numerator and denominator okay now put a bracket because uh, we have multiple terms in the numerator and uh, the denominator I'm going to take this as address to 3 inside the brackets in the numerator polynomial. Okay, then I'm getting s address to minus s address to 3, then plus 4 s address to minus 1 into s address to 3, followed by plus then s address to minus 2 into s address to 3, all divided by in the denominator. We have 2 s address to minus 1. Then multiply it with set raised to 3 plus 5 set raised to minus 2 is there again multiply with set raised to 3 plus set raised to minus 3 is there multiply with set raised to 3 okay okay now uh, let us expand this as a set raised to 3 then plus uh, 4 what about this one? Z raised to minus 1 into Z raised to 3 gives Z square plus Z raised to minus 2 into Z raised to 3 gives Z all divided by what about this one? 2 Z square plus 5 into Z plus y. Okay. Then uh, what about the degree of numerator polynomial? That is 3. What about that of denominator polynomial 2? Which one is greater? Degree of numerator polynomial is uh, greater than that of uh, degree of uh, denominator polynomial. Degree of uh, numerator polynomial is equal to 3. Then degree of denominator polynomial is equal to 2. Degree of uh, numerator is greater than degree of denominator polynomial. The condition for uh, the causality is the degree of uh, numerator polynomial should be less here it is greater therefore the system is non 